Alright guys, welcome back to part two of Mafia, excuse me, part four of Mafia. Let's get into it. So this is Mafia 2, by the way, guys. Okay, hey, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. Do I, am I like stuck? Vito's just walking, slow as shit. So guys, basically what happened, in case you missed it, is Zito is serving 10 years in prison due to the gas stamps in that mission with Henry. So he is serving 10 years. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. second guys what's going on max always appreciate you stopping by the stream man max i might actually make you a uh, mod one thing i have to do tonight is someone will mod me Smell you new fish. Welcome home. Get in. Have a channel points idea? This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would've preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Three days later, all right, let's see what's happening. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Why would it be? Max, what's your idea? Contact Leo Galante. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point them out, will you? Buzz off, asshole. There's 365 days a year. So if it were just two years, that would be uh, 730. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point them out, will you? Eh, never heard of him. Five years and almost two months. How long for hmm. you? They should let me out next summer. Give up now, my man. Bastard. No. Don't listen to these motherfuckers. No you gonna do it. Oh, oh you Men cannot train soul uh, brother they don't in seem ways too friendly. of kung fu. Why not? But what? Men make you deal. You teach me basketball. One v one. Men teach five you in game. I could do a nine in game. Twenty. I know you. You're that fucking guinea oh, who was with Barbara fuck. in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. Brian you got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> he didn't have that scar yeah, on his face us. the last time. My mom was think. right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! Yeah. There you go, Beetle. There's Galante. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dagon. Come on, that was wrong. You have to, like, play on the hardest of the cookie. So, dodge right there. So, after he, like, throws two punches, you kind of just have to use your time I shove the potato your mother's ass. It seems like Vito, Vito handled We're gonna give you a little there. time to think about what you've done. But he got hit in the back. Yeah, that five that five inning rule. Close like, it up. It's not bad, but I'd rather just make it nine. 
The wolf pack right So O'Neill almost like took my head off. Idea it's just like he I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> All right, I don't want to skip yeah, the listen up, scene, but pretty this much. This is Vito. I'm gonna need to lower. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. So, let's go to audio. Lower down to... Lower down to 70. All right, can you guys hear me clear here? Okay, See if you guys today we're going to work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized yeah, chin of yours down. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Sorry, Peppy, I had to do it. A little bit better, lower <laughs> on the voice. Nice one. On my voice or just the game? Shit, that had to hurt. <laughs> Dude, oh, nice, hey, kid, nice. Give me two more. All right, one Ouch. more of you. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's... Empire Bait. Empire Bait. The game? Empire Bait. All right, we'll lower both of them to 70. It's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. Exactly. You uh, anyone in the family wants you prove that you're loyal, a good earner, and you can handle, well, you know, the life. In any he case, money. this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. <laughs> He's just like, dude, you idiot. Give me another 20. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. A 
That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. You guys hear the game all right? Now listen, like you guys these jokes are quick little game. bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there. Show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> Perfect. All right, good. Yeah, but pretty much what I was saying is, um, instead of, I like the MLB idea for the channel points, but I would make it pretty much a nine inning game, and then um, ah, I need to learn that style. We, you talked about the regiment. Yesterday. And it's an okay idea, but I just don't want people joining in the regiment that, like, I don't really know. I mean, if you're talking, like, Call of Duty, like that type of regiment, then yeah. But the clan overall... I'm gonna try to regain my health here. Usually it works. I don't know why it's not right now. One, two. Okay. Oh, I got. All right. Here we go. Boop, boop. Get him. You know, you, I don't know why. Oh, you were talking about the Call of Duty regiment. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's not. It's not a bad idea. Not the. So. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Where's the guard at? Max, Max, what ended up happening with that uh, monitor, by the way? Ten thousand for a rebirth match. Hmm. Hey, listen, no, we gotta lower the, got we the gotta day lower off, that. Courtesy of Mr. Because pretty much what we're doing is... So if you go and look... I mean, Draft My BR team is literally, like, low. It's, like, only a thousand. The sports podcast is five, and then... The Hydrate is literally gonna be 500. Which... We'll change. Nothing much. You're gonna. Uh, to Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. No, we're not really training, man. The hell's going on? Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Looky here, I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to move. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. 
But guys, appreciate the support. Max, appreciate you stopping by the streams as always, man. If you want to be a mod, just let me know. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next one. got as much chance of winning as a running for president. Good night. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Wait, I get money Yo, for not getting the hacks to do What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visit. Who's the visitor? Oh, we'll see. And it's his sister. Frankie. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? Her real I'm name's doing Francesca, real but... Vito calls her Frankie. Good, thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if you asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, Appreciate I that, Max. It. Looks like I'm not going to need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. So Vito's mom's sick, and Frankie's Thanks, getting Vito. married. Bye. Did I say the mom's getting married, or did I say the sister? Let's go, I think, I think I said the mom. The mom is sick, and pretty much not doing well, and Francesca, Vito's sister, Frankie, is getting married. All right. Oh, this these missions just feel repeatable. Follow the guard. Yeah, dude. Fucking in Shawshank Redemption, pretty much. Dude's taking a piss. This guy's sleeping. You said the mom. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I, I thought I did. I, that's why I was like. I, I knew I said that, too. It was just like... Oh, man. It is what it is. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Did you fucking move your ass? Honestly, if I had to do this, I, I'd rather just... I'd rather just literally jump off a, a building. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Vilo, no one's around. Just knock him the F out. Punch him straight in the face. Hey, looks like this one's Just still dirty. Not, Clean not it again. <laughs> Vito's like. He he went in to go clean that he's like, oh my god. Alright, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. All right, get Scaletta, me. get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? I know this fat ass guy was saying.
What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Bro, no idea, but I'm, I, like I got you all. scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. Just watching the wrong ass to drill. We can do game, this the easy you know, way. Baseball game right now. Hard way. So no choice. I got a better idea. Yeah, man. No, no idea though. It's instead. always We're pretty late over here. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> oh shit! It's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. <laughs> Do that again, sweet cheeks. Come on, Beetle, beat the fucking donut jelly roll looking mother effort. Hurry up, Johnny. Ain't got time. Kick his ass. There you go. I want you. See you later, buddy. Yep. Here's the sink. Do you want the cold water or the hot water? Oh shit. Okay. Boop. This dude looks like frickin' Walt Disney. Bow up! Now hit him with the one-two Mayweather. Right into the wall. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Dude, why do I always get hit with this damn thing, man? Just for defending myself. I literally just got freaking hit. Gone, boy. You know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. That's the uh, warden right there. So in case you guys missed that, that's the warden. And I said he looks like Hitler because he's got this like little mustache. Oh, shh. Oh, this can't be good. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. So she took all of Vito's money and spent it all on the funeral. Why didn't she Good to have take you back, half kid. of it and just spend it on the wedding? What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. The one thing I, I don't understand about that is, okay, she gets married, right? She's getting married. So it's... We don't know to, like, who, but it would have been, like... It's kind of weird how that played out. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Beetle literally said, Pepe's like, all save the money out. for the wedding. Took a little persuadin'. But O'Neill's all she, by himself right one now. One of the two gym. tasks. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating. Break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Right, yeah, I got ass it. Kicked. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Here we go, 1v1. O'Neal face hey, Scaletta. I got a little business to settle with you. Just In this pay-per-view fight. Wanted to see. Here we go, round one. Ding, ding! And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. O'Neal with the right. Scaletta dodges with the left. He dodges. Scaletta dodges again. O'Neal with the, the right hook. No O'Neal. Basically. Basically knocks me the fuck out. <laughs> All right, round two. Round one was in favor of O'Neal. O'Neal misses. Scarlet so. misses. Scarlet cl cl <laughs> connects with the left. Guards to see ya. Here we go. Scarlet again. Scarlet misses. O'Neal with a miss. O'Neal with the left. Scarlet gets him. 
Here comes O'Neal with the left corner. Skull has knocked him down! He's got to... This could be the end of the round! Skull is going for the KO! Ding, ding, ding! It is over, Jesus ladies and gentlemen. Fuck, are you made oh, no! Oh, no, he's not! Do better than that, little girl! Alright. Round Try again, little man. I guess round two. Round one really didn't count. Oh shit. Uh oh. Apparently O'Neal didn't like getting knocked the F out. Here did I. I mean, literally I got knocked the F out in round one. But here we go. And Veal says, R.I.P. you fucking bitch. Shut the fuck up. It all worked out just fine. Oh. But they never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a sweep. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito... So literally, okay, think about this. He has this, this type of like house in a prison. Glio Galante. Dude, that, is, that is the shit I've ever seen. I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on Flaclamente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker. And you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't run. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. One family in Empire Each Bay. Each family controls three. their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. Carlo Falcone is one of the bosses, the other and then Vinci. It's Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood, whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, we'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. What the hell was that? You guys see that right there? Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. So Vito got four years off his sentence. Now Joe used to come back. visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Catch up with Joe. Obviously, what the hell else am I gonna do? How are you doing, man? This dude just casually chilling outside the apartment, bro. You better get the hell away from me. I'll knock you the fuck out. Oh, I'm out. Oh, okay. I missed the floor.
Bro, make a move. You better make a move. Vito. Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. Vito's like, dude, I'm going we'll back to the same old shit. Go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, the right there the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. I'll just go this way, whatever. Just go out the front door. There is like a like a, a back door. And it's on floor two, but I always forget. Alright, where are we going? Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. A lot. Vito's nervous for what Joe's surprises. Alright. Alright, guys. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm wondering if you, if like you have see, um, let me know. some good quality clothes here. You know, I need a nice suit. Will that be all? All right. There we go. Come back any. Alright, this is close enough. Park here. Go check oh, the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your so garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. Apartment. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place. Did you not see time. what I just I got? Why do you have a suit? Alright, so this is... Vito's new apartment here. The apartment is on the top floor. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes oh God, with a telephone at shit. no extra charge. 
And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Clean with all the hot water you want! And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free ask to ask. Him, get him the hell out of here. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, <laughs> I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Hey, get him the, get him out of here. Alright, heading to Joe's. Draft the BR team. <coughs> we could do that. Say, did I just miss the door completely here? This car is sick. Holy crap. Looks like something like you see in like the Jetsons. I'm still in a uh, I still have my BR team. I think it's that team with Trout. So, I don't know. Alright. You alright, man? Poor, poor dude. Jeez, I thought you was going to be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick this I'm up. I'm probably going to switch the uh, channel. I met him when you was on your little vacation. The stream. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Man, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh... Funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. All right. This is Eddie's car. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a can? Freedom. Yeah, well, besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, 
baseball, everything. Now you get closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back. Your discussion is advised right now. When we get there. <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Uh, you know how it is. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? You know what, Eddie? I'm trying to be nice and not damage your car. But if you want me to step on it, shit. Alright. You're paying for it. It's your car, man. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you, you know were what's a stand up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and uh, oh no. Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Alright, so basically, I'm just gonna skip this cutscene. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Why, uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> All right, so pretty much I'll hey, tell you what happens my there. Keys. Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> okay, so pretty much what happens in that scene is... Like Eddie was so, talking about. Okay? How'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing. I just pretty much want you to work shower, for eh? the Falcone family. <laughs> <sighs> oh, and all that. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when yeah, does so business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure. It's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Now, I'm gonna hurl. 
Steady, yeah, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell plus the other smell. I think I'll be alright. The only right, way Max, it could get worse now that he craps himself. Because I skipped the cutscene, so I think I'll be alright. I, I literally, I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I didn't. Know. But pretty much what went down, like I can assume, is pretty much Eddie asked Vito, hey. We want you to join the Falcone family and go from there. Because that's what it sounded like it was happening. That's what it sounded like. It is, hey, here's the offer, and go from there. I just get shot from. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? Yeah, Joe's fault. That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't tell me I have to drive all the way back. No. God damn it, no shoes. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. <clears throat> ah, Lord, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Ah. Huh. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. <laughs> ah. Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Fine, whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to. This go wasn't supposed to, to be. Alright, guys, I will be right back.
All right, we're back. It's part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Where the hell is that? Take the drunks back to Joe's. You guys kidding me with this? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, poor Dino. So pretty much there's a song playing on the uh, radio that Betty and but I don't have it on because of copyright. a bad mission, but having to go all the way to the woods and now all the way back. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you get to see like Empire Bay. Which, it's pretty nice because sometimes you, in this game, you really don't get to see like the sights and kind of get a glimpse of the city. Ooh, in pursuit of a hit and run driver. 10 4. Officer was my fault. The uh, car was in my way. You should be finding them, not me. I had nothing to do with it. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. I would have hit that car, it would have been, hey, you're getting arrested, now I have to bribe the police for $200. Yeah, it's not happening. Stop following me down. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one, big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come it's on. Free. It's a free yeah, air. Enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Chapter 8 The Wild Ones <sighs> What the fuck? Hey Vito, rise and shine Jesus Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. But stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. Alright, guys, I'm going to end the Mafia 3 stream here. BR or Warzone will be in about. 25 minutes so hope you guys enjoyed mafia 2 if you guys did please just do me a favor these are going to be all posted on youtube simply just hit that like button guys i would really appreciate it if you guys also did enjoy the stream on twitch hit that follow button guys i would really appreciate it as well and you guys have a great rest of your day talk to you guys soon